Here's an example of playing with function and graph transformations. It's supposed to be a review example, so this is not a great place to learn this from scratch. But we've got a, a function with the graph y equals f of x pictured. It is not something that comes from an algebraic formula. Instead, it's just three line segments, and the key data is this table of the x and y values. And it's just straight, straight line segments between these four points. So given that, we'd like to know what y equals f of x plus 3 looks like. Well, we do want to remember that adding or subtracting is a shift. When we attach it to the x variable, it's going to be horizontal. And the trickiest thing is, it, is it left or right? Well, when it's plus, it turns out to be a shift to the left by 3 units. Let, I'll, I'll show exactly why that is in a second. But if we believe that, then this isn't too hard to do just by freehand. We can just plot 1, 2, 3, a point right here. And then this is 3 units to the left of the 1 at 1, 2. And then we'll connect it to something that's 3 units to the left of 3, 1. And then something that's 3 units to the left of that. We just shifted the whole thing to the left by 3 units. That can get tricky if it's not just a simple thing like a shift. The more sure way to be, uh, the better way to be sure about it is to look at the table. So now we want, instead of y equals f of x, we want f of x plus 3. So here it was y equals just straight up f of x, the old function. Now it's the new function. Trouble is, how do I modify the table? Well, the thing is, I can't put in like x equals 4 into what, f of x plus 3. If I put in x equals 4 here, I'm going to be asking for f of 7. That isn't on this table. So I actually have to modify these x's. Which makes sense. If we look at our guess for what things seem to happen, the special x's are now a totally different set of x's because I shifted them. They're changing. And the claim is that the special x's are now shifted three units to the left. Well, let's try that. Let's see. The conjecture is, if I put in x equals minus 3 into f of x plus 3, oh, hey, the minus 3 for x cancels out. Let me show that. f of minus 3 plus 3, that's f of 0. That's something I know. That's what this table says. This table says, if I take this function and I put 0 in, I do know the answer. It's minus 2. That confirms that for this new function, where before I evaluate f, I add 3, that means that if I put in x equals minus 3, I'm kind of faking that out. I'm canceling it out. And I'm getting to the, the analog of the original point. The f function seems to think that it's being evaluated at 0. It is being evaluated at 0. And it's giving me minus 2. That's why it's shifting left, is that we're trying to undo the 3. We have to put in a minus 3 to undo the plus 3 so that f sees its old values, and we can use this table. So that tells us what to put in here. If we subtract 3 from that guy, then let's see. f of the new function is to take that minus 2 and first add 3, and then evaluate it. And f of 1 from the table is equal to 2. That's the minus 2, 2 point that we thought we should have, which we do. So similarly, these guys are just shifted over. They're all subtracted by 3. And so that table is exactly the table for this new guy, which you can check. OK. At least one more. We probably won't have time for any more than that before I have to go to class. So how about y equals f of, um, let's do a, a little bit of a hard one, minus 2x. OK. So let me go through whoops, and just hide all this stuff. f of minus 2x. Well, let's see. What should that be? That's going to be a flip. Negative always flips. Uh, and it's horizontal, because it's attached to the x-axis, the x variable. And either a stretch or a shrink. Once again, if it's attached to x, it's usually it's backwards from what you usually think. I claim it's a shrink by a factor of 2. Now that's e harder to eyeball. Oops, I left one here. That's harder to eyeball than the shift left. And so we probably want to look at the table and do the points first, and then um, carefully just plot those points. OK. So once again, I'm doing the harder ones are where you modify on the x, and that's why I'm focusing on these guys. I want to put in some new x values. Here I had to change the x values, not the y values. Here I want to put some new x values so I can take advantage of, let me see if I can get the whole ta the, the old table up here, so I can take advantage of this table. 
well, let's see. If I want f to see 0, if I want the function to see a 0 coming out of minus 2x, then that can just be 0 still. Because a 0 put in for x is going to give me f of 0 is minus 2. But what should I put in here? I want to take advantage of this table, the table entry that says when I put in a 1 into the function f, I get a 2 out. But if I put in x equals 1, f is not going to see that 1. It's going to see a minus 2. So I need to put in a number so that when I multiply it by minus 2, I get 1. Well, that's otherwise known as minus 1 half. Because if I put in minus 1 half for x, then I multiply it by minus 2 first, then I'm going to be evaluating f of 1. This tells me f of 1 is equal to 2. Similarly here, this is going to need to be minus 3 halves. Because if I take minus 3 halves and I multiply it by minus 2, that cancels everything out. And f, as far as it's concerned, is saying, oh yeah, that's f of 3 is equal to 1. Notice the y values aren't changing. That's because I didn't put anything outside the f in terms of flipping or stretching or shrinking or shifting. The last one, that's going to be minus 2. Because I want a number so that when I put it in for x, I'm going to get a 4, so that f will evaluate at 4. And that's going to be minus 2 here. So what I've done is I've just taken 0, 1, 3, 4, and I've divided them by minus 2. That's why it's a shrink. Because the 2 had to be undone. And that's going to be dividing those x's, making them smaller, and that's going to shrink in the horizontal. So notice, only in the horizontal. The stretch, the flip, and the, sh and the shrink are only horizontal. The, fl the flip is encoded in the fact that these are negative now. OK, so now I just need to plot those points. Oops, let's see if I can do that. And, uh, and do that, OK. So let me plot the points. Um, let me take off snap points, because they're not integers anymore. So 0 comma minus 2, I'm just going to freehand them. I could do it exactly. 0 comma minus 2, oh, this is the same point, OK? Oh, actually, let's just draw segments. 0 comma minus 2, then minus a half comma 2. That's basically right here. Then minus 3 halves comma 1 is basically right here. And minus 2 comma 3 is right there. Oh, right there. So it is scrunched in the horizontal direction. It does not change the vertical size, and it's flipped over the y-axis. Okay, that's enough examples for now.